Okay, uh, hello my friend, hopefully that you are doing great. So as you still remember, so uh, in the previous lesson, I already uh, explained for you what's the main interaction methods on the screen. So I just wanna explore, uh, explain uh, real quick uh, again. So, you know, uh, when we have something, you know, very important, it's not very important, but I mean, there's something like, you know, the main thing that you wanna have on that screen. So we will create some main interaction methods and then we can call it in test script easier, faster, okay? So keep, keep that in mind for the lesson related to the main interaction methods, okay? So in this lesson, it will be a very short lesson, but it's very important for you to enhance your pay object a little more efficiency, okay? So now you can see here something like we call something like, uh, this is the back class? Okay, this is the one, okay? So we call something like login base, input its name, login base, input by work, login base, dot click on login button. Okay, so for some time I say that, okay, I'm tired to just keep saying login bay, login bay, login bay. I don't want to do something like that. What I want to do that I want to have something like login bay. And then I input the, I'm sorry, uh, input the username and then I provide some tag here. And then I want to input password. Let me try to copy this word because we didn't implement. So it should create some error, okay? Just ignore, I want to explore the usage word and then if you call something like click on the login button, something like that. So this is the one that I want to have. This is the one that I want to have. And this is the one that we want to implement. And then we can try some tests, something like that. So you just call something like return login, in which you snap in both password and click on the login button. It should be a little shorter. And you know, it keep, uh, you know, keep us, you know, when we try some main flow end to end should be easier for us okay so we call something uh this one we call something like the uh method chaining okay method chaining you can search on the google or something like that method chaining but the concept is very simple that uh we will try to return the instant in the same class and then we can keep calling so if you observe as you can see this one if you want to call another method inside that's class, so that means this method need to return uh, the login page, I mean return the login by instant, right? And this one need to return the login by instant again, and then we can call the, you know, the method inside that instant. So this is the way we want to do technically. So if you want to, uh, you know, uh, try to have something like that, just come back to the login page here, okay? So I think whether I need to, you know, um, I'm thinking that's whether I need to uh, modify this one or create a new one. So let me try to create a new one because I explained for you in previous lesson that I want to keep the content here and then I can put in the uh, my blog here and then we can have a written version for people who just don't want to watch the video, okay? Uh, okay, just come back to, where is it? Uh, the model, the page here, login page. So let me try to duplicate by copy and I paste and then I change the name to something like login page with our method chaining, okay? So in this case, <clears throat> let me try to delete these things. Uh, so in this case, uh, we have input username, input password and click on the login button here. We will keep everything the same except one thing here. So what we want to return in this case, we will return the instant, the same instant. So this is the return type. So in this case, we need to uh, return type should be login based method chaining. And then finally we can return this, okay? We return the same instant that we will uh, create when we call it, okay? By the way, uh, sorry for any background noise around, okay? So now in this case, uh, let me try to modify the same thing here. I boost here. And then I just return this, uh, return this keyword. That means I will return, uh, sorry, uh, something wrong here. So let me try to cut it here, put it here. Uh, and it should be input password, right? Hopefully I can remember exactly. So now uh, for the login button, okay, this is interesting, interesting thing. So for example, if you try the login button here, okay, just go to the visor app here. 
So the login button, there are two scenario will be happen. So, so for example, if you input a correct credential, I mean a correct email and a password, and then you hit on the login button. So basically, you will see a new thing happen. So in the real application, you, you know, it can navigate the user to the user dashboard, a user profile, it's up to you. But definitely, it will navigate to user to another place, another screen, right? So after you hit the login button, you will be navigated to another pay or chat, right? So in this case, if you return this, it will be not correct. So another scenario that, for example, you, you provide some incorrect credentials. So after you hit the login button, probably you will stay on this screen, maybe with some error message uh, printed out, something like that. So in that case, you can return this, right? So, but if you do something like that, and then at the end, you will have something like login bay, click on login button, input, the, uh, input username, input patchwork, uh, click on login button, and then, for example, you go to the user dashboard and then you, for example, uh, click on the user profile and then you keep going on. And, you know, at the end, you can see that it's very, very long and you don't want to see that happen. You can still do that, but you don't want to see that happen because it's a little hard for people to distinguish they are on which page, they are on which screen. Okay, so for the mobile, uh, the, the end step here, we just need to keep it at something like, oh, sorry, this one. Uh, so we just need to keep it at a void. So the return type will be nothing. Okay. So basically it just have some interaction inside and then we stop. We will not return anything else. Okay. So now just uh, go back to the API learning. I think I need to create a new bucket and try to modify. I mean, try to move them there. Okay, let me try to create a new package because uh, it's uh, make more sense to me. So we have the text here and we want to tag for pay object model, right? So uh, I will try to move this one and this one, I select them and move to the palm package here. And then, yeah, it's make more sense to me now. Now, I will create a new class. Hopefully it will be not longer than the previous one here. Set value with form and uh, in this case, set value with P P O M. Okay, so we call something like that because we if we pronounce something the palm palm is just something you know, uh, just a bad feeling for me. <laughs> so set value with P O M and uh, the surface in this case should be something like you know metal chain. Okay. So we can have something like this. And in this case, I will not create a new instance from the login bay anymore. Instead, I will create a new login bay method chain in here, a new login bay method chain in here. And then now uh, I put something like uh, login bay, not username. Okay, so we can call something like our uh, input username blah blah okay we don't need to input a real okay just put something like username okay and then we can now you can see we can call input password and then we can provide a wrong password here and finally we can click on the login button let me try to enter to the new line and then you can see what we have just done just is the same that we expected at the beginning of this lesson now i delete those things Delete it, input a uh, credential and click on login button. Okay, so you can see here, login by input his name, input by click on the login button. So technically it should work, uh, but okay, just for sure we can, you know, start the IBM server here, enter, and then you click on the run button here, you click on the main methods here. Try to open the visor app to assure whether it's work correctly or not. But technically, I'm sure 100 percent uh, that it will work like before. Because technically, we didn't change anything, right? We just uh, try to return the instance, and then we keep calling the method inside, right? Just go back to the terminal here and here. It's launching. You see, it just worked like before. Okay. 
So uh, let me try to, um, you know, summarize a little before we end for this lesson. So we we have a met, uh, we have a technique we call it the method chaining, where in each method inside the class we will try to return the this keyword. That means we will return the exactly the instant at the time we create at the runtime, and because we return that instant in the same class, so that means you can keep calling the method inside uh, instead of try to have some inter, uh, intermediate uh, instant like locking day. In which is name locking bay in boot by spark again, uh, right? So in this case, you can keep calling them from the beginning to the end here, and this is very important because I explain for you here. So basically, this will return to the destination page or re uh, remain on the page. We can enhance that logic, but I suggest you to not do that because uh, let me try to go back here. If you keep doing that, and if your end-to-end -end scenario actually long, and then you can see a lot of things happen here, and you, it's very hard for you with the screen that you are on. So at least here you can see you are on the uh, login screen for this method, right? And then, for example, you have the uh, maybe the user dashboard, something like that. Let me try to do something like that. User dashboard, and then you call some other method, blah blah here some other methods here, and then when you read your test script, you can understand easier, right? So I think this is very much for this lesson. Try to practice yourself. Bye for now and see you in the next lecture. Okay.